I will conquer my opponent. Defeat will not be in my creed. I will believe where others have doubted. I will always uphold the prestige, honor, and respect of my team. I have trained my mind and my body will follow. Who am I? I am a champion. I will acknowledge the fact that my opponent does not expect me to win, but I will never surrender. Weakness will not be in my heart. I will arrive at the cutting edge of battle and win by any means at my disposal. I accept the fact that my team expects me to move faster and fight harder than our opponent. Never shall I fail my teammates. I will always keep myself mentally alert, physically strong, and morally straight. And I will shoulder more than my share of the task, whatever it may be, 100%. Who am I? I am a champion. Gallantly will I show the world that I am a specially selected and well-trained warrior. My heart and my soul will be the fuel to carry my body when my limbs are too weary. I will never falter. I will never lose focus. As long as there is hope in my mind and my heart still beats, I will never give in to the evil that is weakness, and I will fight that evil with my dying breath. Who am I? I am a champion. Energetically will I meet my opponent. They will not challenge me. They will not stop me from my goal. I shall defeat them on the field of battle, for I am better trained and will fight with all of my might. Defeat, retreat, are not a champion's words. I will never leave anything but the very best on the field with my teammates. And under no circumstances will I ever surrender. Who am I? I am a champion. Readily will I display the discipline and strength required to fight forward to my objective and complete that objective. I will rise when I have fallen. I will rip the heart from my opponent and leave it beating on the ground because he cannot stop me. Who am I? I am a champion. My opponent may not fear me, but he will respect me. And if he does not, I will make him respect me with all that I have to give. Who am I? I'm a champion. It's our time, not tomorrow, not next week, but right now. None will say I'm not given all I have to give, and none will take my glory. Who am I? I'm a champion. History will remember me. No one will deny me. No one will define me. No one will tell me who and what I am and what I can be. Who am I? I'm a champion. 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 Out of the night that covers me, black is the pit from pole to pole. I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears, looms but the horror of the shade and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid it matters not how straight the gate how charged with punishment the scroll i am the master of my fate i am the captain of my soul
You know, when you get old in life, things get taken from you. That's just part of life. You only learn that, though, when you start to lose those things. That's when you find out that life's a game of inches. As is rugby, because in either game, life or rugby, the margin for error is so small. I mean, one half step too late or too early and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow or too fast and you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. In this game, we fight for that inch. In this game, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that inch. We claw with our fingernails for that inch because we know that when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the difference between winning and losing, between living and dying. And I tell you this, in any fight, it's a man who's willing to die who's going to win that inch. And I know if I'm going to have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that inch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. You've got to look at that man next to you. Look into his eyes. Now I think you're going to see a man who will go that inch with you. You're going to see a man who will sacrifice himself for the team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're going to do the same for him. That's the definition of a team. And either we play as a team or we will die as individuals. That's rugby, my friend. Opportunities. They're rare. So you practice. You bleed. You sweat, and you sacrifice. You do it for the sport, your teammates, yourself, and you do it for your country. And he's the man who is the ultimate finisher. And you do it for that one moment that decides the difference between glory and anonymity between victory and defeat. Because it is in that one defining moment that heroes and legends are born.